good morning. Make it count. Everybody else good? Closer. Just watch the good. curve. All right. Good morning. Obviously here uh, in Wynn this morning and mostly just want to be here to welcome these students back into the classroom. Uh, really excited despite the fact of uh, the level of devastation that Wynn has suffered over the course of the last week and a half uh, that these students are able to get back into the classroom. So incredibly important for them to get back to having a routine and some normalcy and uh, getting the opportunity to be around their friends, their teachers, uh, their administrators, and also uh, just back into a learning environment. As we know, a lot of kids missed school a uh, significant amount over the last couple of years. As much as we can keep kids in the classroom, we want to be able to do that. And could not tell you how unbelievably proud and what an amazing effort it has been for this community to pull together to be able to do what they're doing here this morning and that's to get those kids back in the classroom. It is truly a heroic effort uh, by all of these people standing behind me and we are here to be supportive. We are here to cheer these students on uh, and continue to provide assistance and guidance in any way that we can but the real heavy lifting uh, is taking place right here on the ground by this community who has just banded together uh, and making sure that they're delivering for the students of Wynn and it is really just uh, inspiring to see the work that they have done and what they have been able to accomplish in such a short order and that is just a great testament to the leadership on the ground and really proud of them. Mayor, I don't know if you want to say a few words but uh, thank you guys and we really commend you on the hard work for getting kids back to the classroom today. Thank you. Um, you know, we are just proud to see the kids come in, and we're grateful for your partnership and, and being here to support the community. And um, so, thank you very much. I'm just grateful for God's grace and mercy. In spite of everything that has happened, we still give God to glory. And so I'm just excited to have all of our students back on campus today. And this is going to be the best day ever. And I just want to thank all the support that, that has poured into our community. We are so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you. And just keep us lifted up in your prayers. Wow, that's all I have to say. It's just amazing. You know, I come in this morning and I was coming in early and three buses pulled out of our bus shop almost like a military mission. And I'm getting chills now just thinking about it. I cannot thank our governor, our secretary, this state for all they've poured into us. And I can't thank my team enough. These guys worked sometimes till one or two in the morning and we got our babies back in five days. That is a testament, and they contacted all 2,480 kids. Every child is accounted for, and we know where every child's at, and we have 100% of our staff safe. And so we are just uh, uh, blown away by the support, and we are so grateful and so thankful, and the Lord has kept his hand on us. And we've had a saying for the last couple years that jackets don't just survive, they thrive. And so today, that's a testament to that. And we couldn't have done it without all this support. And so we are just so thankful. And today is an amazing day. Our kids came in. They were welcomed with cheers. And the smiles on their face, is, is just it just makes it all worth it. And so we just thank everybody. And we appreciate you being here. Any questions? Governor, you're a mother. So this has to be, this has to be personal. It's one thing to come, you know, of course, as, you know, as the governor. But to see those kiddos, we saw you taking one child by the hand. She was scared. You know, what was that? What did you say to her? Did you say something to her that you would have said to your own? Absolutely. I could tell that she was nervous. I said, do you need somebody to walk you in? She said, yes. She grabbed my hand. We walked in. We got inside and found out that was actually not her classroom hallway. So <laughs> we came back outside and got her to the appropriate place. Uh, but I think so many times, particularly uh, these kids, they're just looking for some guidance, somebody to show up, and that's what we wanted to do today. We just wanted to show up to be there, let them know uh, that 
they are not on this road alone. This is not going to be an easy return. We know that there are going to be some challenges and some difficulties for the students, for the teachers, for the administration, for the entire community. Uh, and our role today is just to show up and let them know that we're going to be here with them every step of the way. If that means holding uh, a little girl's hand because she's scared to walk down the hallway, then that's what we're going to do. If it means looking for additional assistance to help rebuild the school buildings uh, and put physical structures back together, that's what we're going to do. As I've said from the beginning, the state is here to be a partner in helping every step of the way until Wynn is fully back on its feet and we're going to continue to show up uh, in every way possible to make sure that we live up to the promise that we've made to the people of this community. And Governor, speaking on those steps, uh, what else is the state doing uh, resource-wise, health-wise to, to continue uh, helping this community and everything that they've been through? You know, there are a number of things that we have worked with. Uh, some of it is just connecting some of our private partnerships. We've had uh, amazing and generous people from around the state who have stepped up. Uh, a company out of Little Rock that came and helped overnight set up an air conditioning system in one of the gymnasiums here so that they could use that facility for classroom instruction space. Uh, we've had companies like Walmart who have donated significant supplies, computers, and things that were lost in the storm that would help get students back in the classroom and back in instruction. So helping guide that process at the same time provide